Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Freak 2011 here, aka Manny Wolverine. You guys are invested in the intros and outros towards your channel on my Twitter, Bitchu, Bradia, Instagram, any other social media platforms you can say you guys think of, of course, Rumble too. Anyways, um, here's some old school one hour Kirby stuff, music in the background, absolutely freaking beautiful gems of music, man. The old school dude, Mr. Masahiro Sakura, back in the day, even nowadays, he just did so beautifully well done with how laboratories with the music. That's not what I'm here to talk about. I'll leave the link to the whole playlist down below. I think it's called um, oh, One Hour Happy Fun Kirby Music Compilation. So there's that. It's from Waddle Dude. <laughs> oh my god, they actually named themselves after the enemies. Anyways, um, um, yeah. And there's a bunch of rumors going on with this. Um, I don't know what it is, but like I think this thing was starting to trend yesterday. I might talk about it tomorrow on Friday, so be on the lookout for it. And I rarely ever talk about Star Wars anymore. I'm the Mandalorian, but this hashtag Gina Carano, I stand with Gina Carano, man. This trending shit is blowing up big time over there, man. So I might have to put my two cents into that. I know it's been going on for a while. I thought I heard about Gina Carano a while ago, like two years ago, 2018, 19. That, that trick was super beautiful as fuck, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. Very mega attractive, beautiful woman. She used to be in the UFC. And just one other chicks like Ronda Rousey and all that. She was extremely hot as fuck, man. You know, she had a couple of muscles on her. She was very, very gorgeous, beautiful, freaking wife looking chick, man. Anyway, so. Heard about this the other day. This was mini trending like four days ago, but I still talk about that Gina Crown situation in a separate video. Oh my god, <laughs> mother uppers are really jumping on the bandwagon with that. I might as well too. This comes from Ryan Craddock though. And the Pokemon things, McDonald's Happy Meals. And I heard two other people that were scalping them. <laughs> I don't know if this is a big time poker tuber like A Drive and then this other fool, uh, Mad Jenkins TV or Mad GT G Jenkins TV. I don't even know how the fuck you say his name. I don't give a shit. Those guys are freaking, they don't even give a rat's ass about a lot of their subscribers. I only care about their money. And it's just a Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel gets official name, reveal trailer. Once again, this comes from Ryan Craddock. Here we go. The first visuals teases for the upcoming Sonic movie sequel has dropped, revealing the names of the new... Oh, and the whole Gia and Crown thing, one more thing. I think that she got like a lot... She's a lot more extra trending now because of um, what's it called? I think it's because um, she ended up getting fired from Star Wars. Yep, she got fired from Star Wars and Lucasfilm Art Disney. So I'll be talking about that in a very separate video. Holy shit, that's pretty crazy. So anyways, first visual tease for the upcoming sound of the movie sequel trailer has, <coughs> excuse me, has dropped. I haven't watched it yet, so I'll probably do, I don't know if I'm going to do a reaction now. I'm going to get my channel taken down for the trick because of copyright claims or strikes. Let's continue. Revealing the official name for the new film, Sound of the Hedgehog 2. How did they come up with that? That's a 10 second clip above the showcase. It was only 10 seconds. I'm not going to do that though. <laughs> Showcases the new film's name and logo. I'm confirming that it is planned to be out in April 8th, 2022. Release date is very much <clears throat> the target. Speaking about the names, uh, speaking about the film's name, the video's description reads groundbreaking, thought provoking, extremely obvious. They got that right. Towards the end of the year, British Columbia Film Commission documents. Suggests that the production of a new movie would be beginning in the March of 2021, which is obviously just around the corner. It was also reported that the film will have be on a budget for two more than 20 million plus dollars. Will you be spending speeding in the theaters once <laughs> to watch this one? Yes, I will. Overall thoughts, using opinions. Obviously, I'm gonna watch it in theaters. I don't care if you gotta do it on the HBO Max thing. If I have to do it on there, if they end up shutting down the whole theaters again like they did before because of the the fake pandemic, scandemic, COVID-19 fake bullshit virus that they always want to fucking shove down your throat these bullshit mainstream media cocksuckers they always want to fucking do that shit all the time i don't care i'm still gonna go anyways to me that shit's an illusion it's not real it's fake even though i'm in my early 30s but still i mean, thank god i'm not a 70 80 year old person <laughs> it is real but if it's fake <laughs> it's, it's all about nk ultra mind control social engineering controlled opposition government shit that's all psyop crap i don't believe in man Straight out controlled opposition. I'm not even getting to that crap. I'm still going to watch my fucking movies. Regardless if the fucking government's... Oh, no, you can't do that. And go fuck off. I don't care. I want my beautiful ass freaking franchises in 3D. I want to see it right there in person. Compared to watching it at home, is just boring as fuck if I watch it at home. I got that mess. There's no level of immersiveness or escapism to that. Like when you see it in the XD and CD and like... um. 
and giant ass regal stadium sized cinemas like that. So much a better immersive experience in my own personal opinion. And I'm an old school head at that. Well, let's get on to the second thing. <laughs> this was actually more lighthearted funny news, but kind of sad too. So, and I actually got three of these. I got it from my nephew. One was an Alolan Sandshrew. The other one was, I think, a limited edition old McDonald's holographic Eevee. And then the third one, I think it was either Pikachu or something else. I think it was Snivy. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's continue. So it's McDonald's. Pokemon Happy Meal cards are selling out thanks to adult fans and scalpers. Comes from Marcus Stewart from Game Informer. Man, looks like it's been like two years the last time I read from him. So this is Pokemon's 25th anniversary is in full swing, and the Pokemon Company has celebrations galore. Whether it be Katy Perry musical tributes, I didn't know that, or a new Pokemon Snap. One of those ideas, that's not coming out till April 30. That's still like two months from now. Let's continue. One of those ideas is partnering with McDonald's to release Pokemon cards. For Happy Meals, which is actually a pretty cool promotion. I'm surprised this isn't only in Japan. They did this all over the world. Sick. About freaking time Japan's the only thing that gets a cool, beautiful, physical, collectivism sort of like merchandise that's out there. Merch, as the kids say nowadays. Oh, let's continue. It might even be better for kids, though, if adult collectors and scalpers weren't trying to hoard them all. So, so quote, so each quote toy, unquote, comes with a cute Pikachu toy and Happy Meal box. Contains a surprise gift like some neat stickers and a fancy sealed envelope containing random cards. There are 25 different cards, but each has a shiny variant, bringing a total of 50 cards. Oh, that's why they're going scalper mother efforts are taking it because the shiny Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. I'm a shiny hunter myself. I love shiny hunting them. I think I shiny hunted Galarian um, Stumpfist. I was like four or 5,000 things. And those are almost 9,000 random encounters I had to do for shiny Grimmore. Oh my god, a Grimmsnarl. Oh man, that was... That kicked my ass so hard last month. It was like two days I got it before my birthday last month, too. I know how difficult as hell it is to get us. In TCG, I only ever got two Shinies. And that was Relicanth and, and Garchomp, and that was it. But let's continue on. But I want to scalp it for over a little, because that's bullcrap there, man, honestly. So it says, the cards are based on the series of the Pokemon and feature following... Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Pikachu, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Mudkip, Torchic, Draco, Chimchar, Piplup, Turtwig, Oshawa, Sinaibi, Tepig, Chesswin, Fennekin, Froakie, Litten, Hopley, O'Reilly, Grok, Grookey, I almost said Grookey, Grookey, Squirt Bunny, and Sabo. They all sound great, but the problem for kids is that that might want to, or excuse me, not might want these, is that adult collectors, influencers, and of course scalpers are causing a frenzy to purchasing the packs in bulk to get the rarest cards. While some just want them as collectibles, others are buying them to flip on eBay and other auction sites are for absurd prices. For example, I've seen eBay listings for the shiny Pikachu card on sale between $75 and $200. Woo! That is bad. And the difference is usually like two, three, five bucks just for the Happy Meal, but... <laughs> That is mierda, garbage, human, trash, negativism to the T there. That's real, real bad. Let's continue. Bundle packs with multiple shiny cards go well over 100 bucks. Dang. I mean, some McDonald's aren't selling out, out of the cards. Leaving the average young Pokemon fan out of the cold. As Kotaku points out, of course, Kotaku. The reason is that this is happening because McDonald's doesn't have a unified rule to how to get Happy Meal toys. Some locations are acquiring requiring buying the meal and others will sell the toy separately while some have limited stocks on the toys other restaurants have allowed customers to purchase dozens of car packs for those forced to buy the meal this has resulted in a lot of food being wasted in some cases oh yeah big time the freaking happy meals are trash garbage i only had one or two from back in the day when i was in the 90s or those thousands could those things literally taste like you're eating something out of the dumpster it's nasty their McNuggets were okay. I like the spicy ones I came out with a few months ago. That was cool. But let's continue. Though some YouTubers have donated their unwanted meals to people in need. Regardless, I'm curious if McDonald's will address it in any way. And they get the money regardless. So unless the Pokemon company expresses concern, and any of the sort of regulations won't be an act of goodwill to more than anything. If you're a Pokemon fan that's looking to bolster your car collection, there are many odds to be... <laughs> Made the odds of you ever in favor. They did a Hunger Games reference there. <laughs> That's cool shit, man. Let's continue. You're free to do with your money as you wish, but maybe at least try to be 
try to be a little bit more considerate for younger fan base. This promotion is actually aimed towards that. Yes, I agree with this man, Marcus Stewart. That's that's typical bullshit. Overall thoughts, season fans, absolute god awful garbage human freaking um actions, physical actions these people are taking, man. And the measures and the lengths these mother efforts will go through is absolutely disgusting and horrific to see the human race actually become garbage human mother efforts like this. That is absolutely stupid, degrading. They are the scum of the earth, the mother effort, cocksuckers. In my prison, they deserve to burn in hell for that shit. That's fucked up, man. You're taking little kids' ass freaking toys away like that? Even though, yeah, I grew up with these ones, Gen 1, Gen 2. After that, it was like middle school, high school. And by the time Black went 1 and 2 came out, I was already community college. And then 6, it was 7 and 8, I was already doing my IRL job at the hotel casino and stuff. Oh, man. In my personal opinion, these two are best of all time. Um, let's see. Oh, score bunny. And for the ones I got out when I had my IRL job. This one and Poplio. These two are my babies after that. But anyways... Yeah, good luck to any of the younger little kids that are trying to get them now, but something I rarely ever talk about in this channel, Anthem. Oh, man. Anthem, 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 Anthem. I'm going to change the music a little bit more Kirby shit. Anthem, Electronic Arts to Determine the Future of the Franchise this week. This comes from the Direct.com, so this comes from Cleet Klein Flatfelt. Got to give credit to him. Let's continue. If they any put any BS microtransactions or macrotransactions, they're full of garbage already. Their business priorities and the graphic designers on the crunch culture time. That's modern day slavery to me, my own personal viewpoint and opinion. But let's continue. Bioware's latest effort of Anthem has not lit lit the world on fire, to say the least. The games as a service that was once heralded hopefully I'm saying that right, heralded as the next big thing, the least less than the stellar reviewers. Limited at the end of the content and glitches, bugs galore, the EA published title shells back in January 2019 and was abandoned by players almost immediately. Updated Updates on the game slowly started disappointing in 2019 rolled in. With the promise of a refreshing title of Anthem Nights begins announced in early 2020. Since then, gamers have not heard much about the upcoming date, but well, the silence may be broken soon. As reported by Jason Fryer and Bloomberg, <laughs> Another garbage ass scum of the earth human there. I'm not even gonna get that right. Publisher Electronic Arts is set to take a deep look at Bioware's Anthem next update, which is deciding to expand or rather to expand the team or cancel the project outright. I think it's gonna get canceled and canned into the dumpster fire. Well, let's continue. EA Arts will be holding a meeting next week, or excuse me, this week to determine whether or not it will continue to try create a new version or a failed online game anthem. According to three other people familiar with the matter. I'm not going to read the whole thing there. You guys can read this little thing there. EA's patience and BioWare thing is thinning. It may be obvious, but things are not looking good for Anthem. The online RPG cannot catch a break. Rumors are that the BioWare develop has severely rushed the publishers to EA and came out long before it had any rights to do so. Since then, it has been nothing else but bad news. Now, looking at the report, EA might be looking at the cut to cut their losses and run. A Bioware could potentially fix the project, pulling off some of the sim similar, something all similar to Final Fantasy, I think 17. I don't know if you say it like, like that or 18. Realm Reborn, basically saving <clears throat> an all but dead game, but the chances are highly unlikely. Game developers are expensive, uh, development is expensive, excuse me, especially when it comes to the game title's largest anthem. But the team behind next update, the next update, could be could be onto something truly special, and if that isn't the case, then let's see it. But with, <clears throat> but with what the gamers have heard and seen, now is refreshing to no evidence of seeing the same in grace. Oh, that's too bad. VA does not look in the nix. Hopefully I'm going to say that right. EA does decide to nix the project. Then it will most likely be the last to ever hear of Anthem. Man, overall thoughts is the This game is dead in the water. There's so many issues and bugs in 2018-19 when this game came out. I think it was like 2017 or 18 when they showed it in E3 at the time. This thing was really, really bad. So many bugs and glitches. I don't really give a rat's butt about JRPGs or big MMORPGs like Anthem. They bore the absolute shit out of me and I have no interest in it. So if it dies and it's dead in the water, I feel bad for the fans that really, really like this Iron Man looking game. It just sucked. That's all I can say for now, my dear. Links to subscribe down below to all three of the articles and the music. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls. We'll talk in the emojis. Peace out, my shout out, ladies and bye. See you more future action videos, anime. 
reaction views, music industry news, and